live. This is Coffee with Will, brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress, Grand Ron Hospital, AnythingToDigital.com, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, and Seabright Dentistry. Oh, and EO and I, if I didn't say them, them too. And I'm here today with Weston Simonis, who is a local musician, jujitsu, martial artist, teacher, and a longtime resident, born, raised right here in the Grand, and has come back to play music and just in general spend some time here with us. So thank you for yeah. chatting with me, Th Winston. Thanks for I really having appreciate me. you coming it's in, Weston, man. By the way. And actually, if you don't know, tomorrow I will be on Winston's show. Weston. K Weston. <laughs> Weston. I don't know why I was saying Winston. Weston. Weston's show up at K-E-O-L. Um, yeah. And I'll be talking a little bit about the Grand Life, so you should tune into that too. So thanks for coming with us today, Absolutely. Uh, Weston. So tell me, you left for a while there. Um, you came back to be with your family. And you were kind of telling me a little bit before um, we were chatting on, before with camera about what it is about La Grande that kind of keeps you coming back. You know, La Grande feels like home to me. You know, I come back to La Grande and my family's here and, and I can spend quality time with my family. You know, the, I mean, when you get to this valley, it's a it's very beautiful valley. I mean, I've gone places and spent time in places and it's, it's hard to beat the view here. It's Absolutely. hard to beat to be able to get into the mountains in the minute, matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. Go fishing at oh, Morgan yeah. Lake and just like... Just a few minutes. The Elkhorns, White yeah, Mountains, okay. man, you know, Anthony Lake. Willowa Lake's Lake, just right Willowa there. Willowa Lake. Yeah, Go absolutely. skiing at Anthony Lake's oh, in an yeah. hour. You know, um, all kinds of things that La Grande is awesome for. It's it's difficult in certain ways uh, to be here in La Grande. Yeah. I mean, the economy is not the best at the moment in La Grande. I mm -hmm. mean, but I mean, I see things rising and things falling. But mm -hmm. you know, as, as in, things are as in the yin and the yang, is yeah, in yeah, everything yeah. in the white and everything in the black. There's always a little bit of evil inside of something, and a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of goodness of, in every side of evil. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, yeah, it's it's. It's kind of like you know, a home away from home. You know, Absolutely. I go, I leave here, and I come back. You know, Absolutely. my family's here, and that's what that's what's at. So now you're also a performing artist, and actually next week, and you, you're gonna have to kind of help me with the information here. Next week, Weston will be performing at a concert at Riverside, correct? Yes, Riverside at 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 22nd. Yes, now, so you should go check that out. Now, so here's a question for you. You've mentioned that it's difficult as a performing artist to kind of put your roots down in La Grande. And, you know, and I think that you wouldn't be the only person to say that. And I think many performing artists have a hard time doing what they love full-time, especially, mm -hmm. in a small town like La Grande. Why is that, and do you see it staying that way? Well. La Grande doesn't really have the, you know, like I said, the economics here. It doesn't have what it could support it. As we were talking earlier about licensings and stuff, mm -hmm. and, and businesses want to have live music to bring mm -hmm. in artists, artists that will bring in customers that will buy, you know, their product for their store and stuff. But it's gotten to a point where you've got all this going on, mm -hmm. right? And people want music for free mm -hmm. a lot. And, and, the, and the consequence on this is it's falling to where they, you know, people like BMI, ASCAP, mm -hmm. CDAC, they want to find a way to get money, royalties for the artists that write music, you know, um, you know copyrighted music. So that's why they have these fees, these licenses mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff. And yeah. some of the businesses around here just don't make enough money to be mm -hmm. able to support those licenses. So, so, so here's a question. So how, when you, know, you have, say, you have a, a, a concert and a business that wants to have live music, that wants to have a local band come in and play all local, all local songs, you know, like no covers, none of that. Um, how do you kind of differentiate? Now, from what I understand, many, many BMI and though and those companies license it blanketly for the business they have to pay a certain amount to even have live music is that correct or mm -hmm. is that yeah, yeah so correct. how do you differentiate between giving royalties for music that's being played well and sort of simply being able to simply just have them sign a contract saying that uh, you give them all rights to let you play the music there and whatever you know um, that is being played here is solely all your music and you're not playing anyone else's music because uh. if you play in someone else's music then they're going to have to pay royalties hmm. to that artist so hmm. that's one part of that whole deal. Now is that kind of a world that you're in being, do you sell your music online? Oh yeah, I sell my music online, westonsimonis.com. Westonsimonis.com. Now how, um, how is that different? Did you always do it that way or were you originally, have you done like the sort of grassroots kind of a thing or have you been mostly, you're a younger guy so you've been mostly online? How has that been kind of selling your music online as opposed to doing it sort of in person? You know, I do sell on person but um, 
online is a different world because I can sell my music to someone in Egypt, someone in Europe, someone in you know Australia or China or, or Brazil or United States or Canada with reaching out with social media mm -hmm. so that I can get them to you know be familiar with me. You know, mm -hmm. you get into a platform of like Facebook or Instagram or like Twitter and you become associated with these people and you talk with them and then through time they eventually get to see your music and they hear it and then, then they, they end up liking maybe one of your songs and then, then they go buy your album hmm. and then you end up sending it to them in uh, Europe. I mean, I, last year I got my first international check sent to me huh. from wow. a gal in uh, Europe. Wow. Yeah. That, was that just a, that was a single purchase? Someone in Europe just found Just a single purchase. And I sent a t-shirt and a CD. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. nuts. So, Pretty cool. Like, do you enjoy doing it? Because for me, I have a hard time with the online thing because it, it, it seems very impersonal to me. Mm -hmm. But do you enjoy doing it on doing business online? You know, um, I enjoy it. It's very time consuming. Really? That's so, interesting. You wouldn't expect that. I, I know. It doesn't seem like it would be time consuming, but you've got a lot of like, and Facebook is very deep when it gets into, you know, promoting into like groups and pages hmm. and going in and out and figuring the notifications of all that kind of stuff, you know. It's very deep into that kind of stuff. And, you, and when you get linked in with other artists and other promoters and other, um, you know, businesses, you, you know, networking with these people and, hmm. and, and it's, you could be answering one page over here, it could be collective artists in a, in a guitar thing. It's all guitar related and everyone's talking in a group that's guitar related. So you're going to try to keep it guitar related because hmm. the group has its, you know, rules. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's, it's specific. It's, it's, it's a little different, you know, I mean, but I, I've created something personal on Facebook, like in my radio show, I reach out with a gentleman named Scott Stoddard over mm -hmm. in, in Syracuse, New York, and uh, he helps me with interviews. So mm -hmm. we, we like team up on people on the on the phone sometimes or on mm -hmm. Facebook, but, you know, like with I uh, what is that one? Uh, what is that? I'm thinking of that video chat. Um, oh, Skype. I, uh, Skype, Skype, yes, Skype, yeah. Skype. <laughs> that so one. We, we do some <laughs> Skype ones. We do, you know, we, we record the audio and we put it on on this website that we created called teammusician.com, huh. which is a free website for any musician that wants to go out there. And then we, we're creating it as in a circle like this so we can get people to be able to, all over the world, talk and communicate with each other huh. to get rid of this whole part of people having to pay multiple high dollar prices on promotions. Hmm. So, you know, I mean, some of that stuff get real. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to get your song played on the radio, you're going to be paying a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, 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 it's so interesting to me because, you know, I think a lot of people have a hard time stepping into the online world of advertising. We run into this, you know, being with Grand Live because it is, it is very different. It's a different world than advertising and promoting yourself on you know, in person, you know, when you promote yourself in person, you go up and you have a conversation, you talk, you, ca you, you shake hands, but when it's, on, it's online, you're thinking groups, you're thinking you know, demographics, and they're the same, but it's different, and it's not face-to-face -face as much, and it's, 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 and it's a little scary, you know, it's a little scary for some people to make that jump, you know, to from, okay, well, now I've always been advertising in the newspaper, promoting myself in the newspaper, promoting myself one-on-one -on -one on the ra or on the radio, and now I have to go into this crazy world of online where everything is so much more complicated. It, you know? it can be complicated, and it can be a monster, or you can reach out and find people to help you. So that, I guess that is my question. So maybe like, if you were to give advice to a young person, or maybe even an older person who's been you know, trying to get their music out there for a really long time, and is a little bit daunted by the idea of doing on having an online presence. What would your suggestions for these people be? You know, um, start with talking with people in your community and on social media, hmm. and then reach out from from them, and you're going to be seeing conversations from people that they might be associated with, hmm. and through their conversations, you're going to grow out and grow out from there. So you have a strong base. 
Hmm, interesting. So it's, it, it's similar in that way to in person. Yes. Uh, you might end up finding people from other places. Like I talk with people in uh, Nigeria, Africa. Mm -hmm. I, I talk with this gal named Tessie Anisi, who is a, a gospel artist. Really? She sings music and um, writes reggae-ish gospel music, dance kind of stuff. Yeah. And she's, she is a very awesome artists you know and yeah. we talk on well, here and there on the uh, social media in Niger nigeria africa and yeah have fun you know and you um, never know her on, unless you were connected on her on facebook or kathleen corelli I, I met from scott stoddard and she lives in moscow uh, russia wow that's and, cool and, i mean that's the cool and thing she, about she, she talks with me uh, about what she's doing and her stuff and i talk about my stuff and we huh. share each other's music and now i'm being shared in her community wow. in russia that's crazy. So how does how is it like someone? I mean, it's so interesting because music. You know, someone from Russia can listen to your music and actually get something out of it. It's being sung in English, but you know, someone from Russia can still listen to your music and get something out of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of speaks to the power of music. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does. Yeah. But having a strong, you know, base inside your community is yeah. really, is very good because the, you know your community is going to help you as as a person grow. Awesome. So, so even on online advertising, having a base community is important. Yes. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about, before we, we're kind of running out of time here, but I want to talk about your music. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about what you're interested in musically, and maybe you could talk a little bit about your album. We have one of Win Weston's uh, albums here. Uh, it's Moments of Intoxication. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Well, Moments of Intoxication the album I came Which up seems pretty, like, it seems pretty straightforward, the title of the, of the thing, it's, it's, but... It's about the time where you, you know, you're, you're intoxicated with, <laughs> in the moment of love, you know? <laughs> you meet someone and, and you just gotta be with that person. So it's you not, know? it's not the, alcohol intoxication. No, no. It's, it's love intoxication. Yeah, it's about love intoxication. I mean, whether it's music, whether it's, you know, physical love between a man and a woman or a man and a man or a woman and a woman, whatever, uh -huh. whatever you're really into, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell these days. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many intos. It's like, yeah. it's all over the place. So, <laughs> you know, and Moments of Intoxication is a rock album. It's an alternative rock album, but it's, it's genre style is, is, is broad. It goes from pop to heavy metal, hmm. you know, and it has some pop punk in there. It's got some comedy in there. Hmm. I mean, I just shot a music video called Yoga Pants. Was just recently, you, yoga pants. you got I got the it, the um, behind the scenes footage all linked on my website at westonsimonis.com, and that also you can check out on my Facebook pages. But it's just so much easier just to go to my website because you can just see it all there. Um, you know, uh, I as an artist want to reach out and and do more hmm. and show off what I have, you know, not as in like to show I'm better than anyone, but to show that, you know, this is the talent that I've created for myself and inspire people, inspire mm. people to, to do the same with themselves. Mm. So you want to inspire other people to do the same thing that you're and, doing. And a lot of people inspire me. So who's, your, who's an inspiration of yours? You know, um, KP is, a, he's a, film producer down in California. He is he is actually an inspiration to me because he's always going forward. He's the one that shot my music video for Yoga Pants. He's always going forward. This guy is looking for work all over the place. Could it be in some kind of film festival or or could it be you know working with some kind of local business around promoting them with film? But he also is at heart an actor and acting mm. comes to first for everything that he does. Mm. You know, he got multiple things uh, in the past, like rewards for like some of the best martial arts hmm. um, films and stuff like that, you know, like, and stuff, you know, there's a lot of things that KP's done that's awesome, you know, uh, I've also have, you know, music artists that I really look up to, I mean, we, we have like, Symphony X is one of my favorite bands mm -hmm. but if you didn't know who symphony x was you'd be like who the heck is symphony x oh, that's, that's like me. <laughs> a lot of people don't listen to that style of music and it's it's kind of like this i'd say opera progressive metal hmm. and, and it's like this guy's singing you know and very technical guitar technical keyboard kind of stuff yeah. and it takes a lot of talent to play that kind of stuff yeah. it's just not the real simple pop stuff that you hear but i love i also love pop i mean yeah. pop it just shows the vo vocals off like 
really well. Mm -hmm. And having to train your voice is it's hard. You know, mm -hmm. the vocals is probably one of the hardest instruments I would say to tune because the fact that one day you could be off because you have a cold. Sure. How are you going to deal with that on stage? Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's difficult singing with a cold. You can get a new guitar. I can't get a new vocal cord. No. <laughs> a new vocal cord, you're sitting in bed waiting and drinking some water and some tea and stuff. Absolutely. And, you know, and uh, one thing I would like to talk about is I like, started doing guitar lessons here and there. Yeah. And um, doing some down at Direct Music Source. Mm -hmm. they, they also wanted to say they're doing some, they've got picked up BC Rich guitars, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, I, but I'm sure that someone who but, knows music who's watching the show will. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I, I, I'm doing a little bit of guitar lessons here and there, and we're going to be starting doing some more down there at Good Direct Music Source, uh, doing some rock guitar lessons. Um, I, I love teaching people. I, I teach martial arts, and I teach guitar and, mm -hmm. and vocals. So it's just it's part of me as a person to inspire people hmm. to, just as you've been inspired as just as much as I've been inspired you know no one's anyone can sing people tell me that oh I can't sing yes you can you're just telling yourself you can't hmm. because you've never tried and when you did try you didn't try long enough because you didn't practice anyone can hold a note anyone can go Oh, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm sure I'm not I, heard you, right I heard you sing a note earlier that was pretty good. Yeah, well, this actually. is a talk show, not a Will singing <laughs> show. And speaking of talk show, we are out of time. Oh, but man. thank you so much for joining me here of today, course, Weston. Of course. And um, check out Weston next, uh, next one more time. One was the time? Thursday. Through? Next, next Thursday. Thursday, the 22nd. 22nd. At Riverside Park. At Riverside starts at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And you can find all his music online. Um, and uh, yeah. WestonSimonis.com. So, WestonSimonis.com. Thanks for Grand Alive. This has been Coffee with Will, uh, brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress, Grand Alive Hospital, anything to digital.com, EONI, and Seabright Industry. We're going to leave you today with a little clip from uh, Weston singing one of his songs from his most recent album. Thanks, Grand Alive. See you later. I believe it's moments of intoxication. <laughs> Get intoxicated. <laughs> Beautiful, your smile really makes you glow and fondled in the 
back seat. Girl, you drive me crazy. Feeling like this was a dream. When you're by my lip, it will feel the steam. And the body's touched closely. Girl, you drive me crazy. Yeah. That song's called Moments of Intoxication. Self-titled song for the album.